We're moving on to our speaker list now. Unfortunately, one of the speakers can't make it, so I, Shabu Bambisho, that he will speak on their behalf. I'm speaking on behalf of Jane Fay, um, who is um, the director of Trans Media Watch. Okay. Solidarity and support from Jane Fay, chair, sorry, chair of Trans Media Watch. Sadly, no one from TMW can make it today because those who want to are vulnerable and those who are, aren't vulnerable are otherwise occupied. In one case, we're covering right now from a, Thailand, from a surgery in Thailand. So this is a reminder that if you want to protest about the appalling state of the press in the UK, get in touch. We need you. We are not going to take much of your time. You have a roster of excellent speakers and organisations to hear from. And we get that a second-hand message is never going to be quite as immediate. Let us just make a couple of important points. Transphobia is alive and well in the UK. In government, in institutions, on the streets, in the media. Above all, it is in the media. We keep tabs on what is publicized, published, and every week we see literally hundreds of stories that reference trans people, or rather, mostly hundreds of stories that reference trans women. So many stories that, so many stories that if you count them, relative to the number of out trans women in the UK, then there will be close to one per story per trans woman every two years. Is that reasonable? Is that an obsession? You decide. We are, it would appear, a greater issue to the British media than organised crime. The Mafia and Tory sex offenders. While it may seem cool to appear more newsworthy than the Mafia, it is a sort of fame we'd happily do without. Trans guys and non-binary people are largely invisible unless they happen to be a celeb who has gone public with their transition. Even issues such as inclusive maternity care that mostly impact trans men get turned so that they are all made, so they are made all about trans women, about trans women allegedly seeking to erase cis women, ignoring that this is about nothing more dramatic than creating an inclusive space for trans men and non-binary folk. Thank you so much.